Do you want to go from these FPS to these? If yes, you came to the right video. My name is Joker and this is my FPS guide. Hope you enjoyed the video. The first step is only gonna be for NVIDIA users, so if you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card, you can skip with the timestamps in the description. What you wanna do is you wanna right click on your desktop and click NVIDIA control panel. This will take a little bit and now the control panel will open up. Don't worry, mine's in German, I will go over the settings with you. You wanna go to manage 3D settings at the top left and then to program settings, not global settings. Once you're here, you wanna click add and you wanna choose Valorant and then click add again. This should be like this in here. And then you wanna configure your settings for Valorant. So all this stuff I configured is in fat letters. So you can see I configured quite a bit and yeah. First one is anisotropic filtering, turn it off. Anti-aliasing FXAA, turn it off as well. Anti-aliasing gamma correction, turn it off. Anti-aliasing mode, turn it off. Uh, your preferred refresh rate, you want to turn it to uh, controlled by the program. Uh, triple, I don't know the English word for this. <laughs> I think it's I think it's similar. Triple buffering or, or something. Um, turn it off. Energy energy mode, something like that. Um, set it to prefer maximum performance. Low latency mode, I turned that to ultra. You can turn it on. Ultras could lead to some input lag, but yeah. Just just try around. Turn it on or to ultra, whatever you whatever feels best for you. Uh, Multi-frame sampled AA, turn it off. Um, OpenGL render GPU, choose your graphics card, your main graphics card if you have multiple. Um, texture filtering, N isotropic, something, just uh, turn it on. Uh, your texture filtering, negative LOD bias, uh, turn it on as well. Texture filtering quality, set it to high performance. And the trilinear optimization turned on, as well as the threaded optimization. Vertical sync, V sync, turn it off. Uh, it will lead to input lag, and it's just not good. And set the pre-rendered virtual reality frames to one. That's gonna be it for the Nvidia control settings. And yeah, off to the next point. This next step is also for NVIDIA users only, so feel free to skip again with the timestamps. What you want to do is you want to open GeForce Experience. And you want to make sure you have the latest drivers. Click on drivers at the top left. And you want to make sure you download the latest driver. They actually just released a new driver just for Valorant. So yeah, make sure to download this. It will give you a huge FPS boost. For the next step, you want to press the Windows key and type in Game Mode. Like this. And you want to click on the top symbol. And you want to make sure the Game Mode is turned off. It is currently causing a lot of problems for a lot of players. And it's just not good. Just turn it off. And everything on the side to the left here, just make sure it's all turned off. It's uh, yeah, not good for your performance. Just turn it all off and you're good to go. Next up, you want to go to your Valorant icon on the desktop. Right click and go to properties. Then you want to click compatibility. And you want to check disable full screen optimization right here. Click apply. Okay, and you're good to go. Next up, press the Windows key again. Type in power options. Click this icon right here and click the blue thing on the right right here and you want to set it to maximum performance. Don't put it to balanced, put it to maximum performance. Especially on laptops, this is going to increase your FPS a lot. If you use Discord, you want to go over to your user settings 
and you want to click on appearance scroll down all the way to the bottom and make sure hardware acceleration is turned off press the windows key again and type in msconfig like i did just press enter you want to go over to start and advanced options in here you want to check this processor count at the top left and choose the maximum number that's possible for you it might be eight or maybe four um, yeah, just choose that and press OK. Press apply and OK. And you have to restart your PC, but I suggest restarting it after you did all the steps I show you in the video. Next up, you want to go to the link in the description, the Mediafire one. And you want to download all the three files right here. And you can put them in a folder as well. And yeah, you just want to double click high priority and click click launch press yes yes again okay and now your valorant game is set to high priority if it's causing like some sort of problem you can simply double click the normal priority one and do the same thing over again and it will revert it back to normal so yeah you can try above normal if high is doing some problems but it shouldn't really be causing any problems, so yeah. Next up, press the Windows key and open your control panel. This symbol right here. And you want to click on System. And over here you want to click to Advanced System Settings. This window will pop up and you will see Performance at the top, under the Advanced tab, and you want to press on, press on Settings. And you want to set it to optimal performance, which is right here. Or you can just uncheck all these manually, but just set it to optimal performance and you want to press apply. This will take a little bit. Um, yeah, it will make Windows look a little bit uglier, but if you don't mind that, you can just turn it back. It's not really a big performance impact, but it definitely helps. And yeah. Just wait for it to apply and then press OK. The next tip I have is not going to be FPS related, but it's definitely going to help improve your aim. You want to press the Windows key again and type in mouse in your language. Click to mouse settings. And you want to click uh, more mouse options on the right. And you want to go to this tab right here, which looks like this. And you want to make sure this check mark down here, it's called mouse acceleration, it's turned off. It's like, it makes your aim wobbly and if you can't really aim this helps if you turn it off. And yeah. Lastly I'm going to be going over the best in-game settings for FPS. So you want to go to the top left and press settings. And then go over to video. At the resolution tab you want to set it to your main display resolution as well as your preferred refresh rate so I have a 240 Hertz refresh monitor and uh, it's 1080p so full HD so I set it to this you could go down a little bit if you want a performance increase for example I could choose this one which is also 16 by 9 and this will lower my 3d resolution and give me a pretty good performance boost so yeah the game will look a little bit worse but if you go only to only one step down, it's not going to be that bad. And if you have a really bad PC, you can set it to 720p down here. And yeah, it's just going to boost your FPS a lot. And yeah, so do this if you have a really bad PC. Display mode, you want to choose full screen. And monitor, obviously the one you're playing on doesn't... Yeah, <laughs> it's obvious. And yeah, uh, you don't want to limit your FPS at all. Um, if you're on battery, you like if you have a laptop, just turn this off. It's for me, it doesn't matter because I don't have a battery. Turn it off. Um, FPS and menus doesn't really matter as well. I just set it to 144, um, just so it saves like a little bit of energy. And FPS and background set it to 30, so once you tab out, you actually have uh, 
like if you're in the browser you have a smooth browser experience and uh, nothing lags in browser and limit fps always just turn it off and you will have uncapped clean fps next up go over to graphics quality and you can just copy all my settings turn it all to low slash off and anti-lysing none and isotropic filtering to times one and turn all of these off if you want a little bit better gun skins uh, you can turn this on they make your weapons look a little bit cleaner and yeah at stats i suggest turning on your fps and your network round trip time aka your ping just so you know whenever you're lagging and uh when not and yeah that's gonna be it for my fps guide i hope you enjoyed and i would love to hear how many fps i could save you guys in the comments down below and yeah see you in my next videos don't forget to subscribe and bye bye